where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get it done. <laughs> All right. Good day, YouTubers. Hope everybody's doing well today. Thanks for tuning in. I got Jane with me today. She's right across the table. Say hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. <laughs> okay, so in this one, we're going to go over some bottles that we purchased uh, from the antique shops that you've seen in the previous video. Okay, and we have quite a few of those, so, so without any further ado, let's get into them. All right, so Jane, first up, what do we got over there? We have this really cool bottle that you had purchased, and I think it's a pickle bottle. Yep, folks, that is the pickle bottle. It's the Rowett and Company in Glasgow. I left all this stuff in it that was in it when I purchased it, so I don't think they realized that this was actually an antique bottle. And as you can see, it was tagged $6. Date it 1890 to early 1900s, 1905 perhaps. And I see one sold on eBay and 2019 for $42.95. Now, keep in mind that uh, it could have been the guy, you know, that put it up for sale that bought it for that price, trying to drive the price up. You just don't know. I see other people on there trying to sell them for like 175 bucks, saying they're very rare and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, with that in mind, folks, I wouldn't pay any more than ten dollars for that bottle although it is quite nice what do you think jane did you pay 175 bucks for that bottle no <laughs> no right I'm too cheap. <laughs> these are quite common folks don't be fooled do your research before buying any and people kind of hate hate it when they uh you know uh, mention the real value of some of these because those same people are trying to sell them for outrageous prices. And they don't want you to know the difference. Okay, here we go. On to the next. All right, folks. So, bottle number two from actually a different shop. This is... one here is really cool. It's Blue Ribbon Beverage Company, made in St. John, New Brunswick. Yep, check it out, folks. Blue Ribbon Beverage Company. A local one, St. John, New Brunswick. Nice color. Got a bit of case wear on it, but it's case wear is minimal. And it is machine made and only $6. Nice soda bottle. Okay, what else you got there, Jane? A beautiful ink bottle. Oh, an ink. Yep, manganese glass. $3.00. But it is not an ink. It's a mucilage. LePage mucilage, which is glue. Oh. <laughs> Lots of folks just call <laughs> these uh, ink bottles, but ink and glue came in the same bottle. Let me see. I got a piece of white paper here to... I don't know if you can make it the color. It is turning. No, it's not showing up real well, but... Anyways, it is can turning. You turning pink. Yeah, it's, it's got a bit of a bit of color to it there I'm gonna have a I got uh, speaking of pink there's pink panther holding on to my drink mmm that's good what are you drinking Jane coffee coffee on a Sunday afternoon cheers all right we got another bottle sitting over there we'll grab that one this one here is a really cool bottle Nice big cobalt blue wine bottle. And this one actually belongs to Jane. She had two of them. I just thought we'd show this one in the video as well. That's a nice bottle. Probably worth, I don't know, I'd put $5 tag on that for sure. All right, folks. Next, we got a bunch of bottles that are wrapped up in newspaper. So I'm going to clear the table here. And then we'll unwrap those and see what they are. Hang tight. A few moments later. Okay, folks, we're ready to go. We got six over here left to show. 
I remember what a few of them are, but I'm not sure what the other ones are. Um, some of them might have been, you might have seen in the other video, and some maybe not. So, anyways, enough rambling. Jane's going to unwrap them here on camera, and we'll see uh, what we got going on here. Alright, there's the first one. Nice manganese local mid. A. Chipman Smith & Company, Apothecary St. John, New Brunswick. You can kind of see how it's like a dull color. That's because it's turning purple. Six bucks. Nice big one. Beauty of a bottle. Alright, I'll set that down here. How could you beat that price? Six bucks. Six bucks. Oh, I like this one. I love that shade of blue. Ooh, yeah, you've seen this one in the video. Phillips Milk and Magnesia. It's like a cornflower blue. It is one with a date on it. August 21st, 1906. Corked up. And... Yeah, I can't really tell if that's machine. Yeah, I think it's machine made. It's be an early one, 1906. Beauty, what was the price on it? Five bucks. Five bucks, Jane. Five bucks. Yeah, not twenty-five. Five. Five, folks. Five dollars. <laughs> okay, two down, four to go. What's next, Jane? Ooh. Jane's ready. Jane's ready. Uh, Jane's ready brewery. Another, uh... Local one, see, St. John, New Brunswick. James Ready Limited Breweries. This one's got a fair bit of caseware. Not too bad, though. But check it out. Three bucks. What kind of glass is that? Because it looks shiny through there. Almost like carnival. Yeah, it's got like a... Some sort of like patina to it. Discoloration in the glass, but... Uh, See, all that combined, that's why it's only $3, but it's still a nice bottle for 3 bucks, and I could definitely trade that, I'm sure. People like the local bottles. Okay, next up, 3 bucks. <laughs> How could you beat it? Oh, oh I got a paper for... Uh -huh. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, this is, yeah, that's the, another James Ready Brewery that I picked up, St. John, New Brunswick. This one is a beauty, look at that, and a nice bluish color, and this one is blown in a mold with a tooled lip. Anybody want to guess how much? Five bucks. Eight bucks. Wow. <laughs> nice one. That is a beauty. Eight dollars. I like it. All right, we got two left to go. What's up, Jane? I don't know. I feel like it's Christmas. Jane is opening Christmas presents. Oh. Oh, a Sussex. Aha. Uh -huh. like See, now this is like another local one. It's a Sussex Beverage Company. Great condition. Machine made one probably, I don't know, I'd say 1920s. Price? 12 bucks. <laughs> 12 bucks? Well, let's see. No, it's only six dollars. Six dollars. What? what? Can you imagine? I would have expected that to be 35 dollars. If you looked on eBay, that's probably what they're trying to sell them for. Okay. One to go, folks. This is from your local antique shop. Okay? Maybe I'll give them a shout out here at some point. Another James Ready. Another James Ready. I didn't realize I had bought so many James Readies. That's probably why I couldn't remember what all they were. <laughs> Alright, so there's a another one. This one is machine made. 
And how much do you think that one is? Uh, now the blown one was labeled uh, eight dollars. Machine made. I'm gonna so the blown say one's older. Three. You think the machine made <laughs> one's three dollars? <laughs> well, this one here was three dollars, and it's in a bit of rough shape. Okay, let's say eight dollars. Eight dollars, same price. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Six dollars. What? Six dollars for that lovely James Ready Limited Brewery bottle, St. John, New Brunswick. And it is in mint condition. So there's a lot of nice bottles right there, folks. And uh, a lot of local ones. I'm happy to have that's not gonna stay put. I'll just set that there. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers. Cheers. We got a part two digging video coming up right after this one, I believe it's gonna be, so. Tune in for that one. Everybody have a great day. Catch us all on the flip side. Say goodbye, Jane. Goodbye, Jane. <laughs> Over and out, folks.